6.44 on your Wednesday morning, Crystal City Skycam showing that we have some fog and it's also quite muggy as you step out your front door, so get ready to kind of get blasted back. If you had the AC on last night, it's going to feel extremely uncomfortable walking out the front door. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with your weather story here for the next several days. Hot and humid conditions out there again for today, but today is kind of the last day for the extreme heat. We'll start to cool it off going into tomorrow and then by Friday, it's just a totally different ball game. Well, with some of the cooler temperatures coming our way, probably no surprise, the clash between really hot and sticky and much colder, that space in between will create some thunderstorms, and that's a cold front that'll be coming through between today and tomorrow, a couple of storm chance days, and then it's a late week chill. We go back to what we saw over the weekend with those lows in the 30s, and daytime highs barely scraping into 60 degrees. In fact, this 66 right now in Elmira represents a temperature warmer than what we're anticipating for a high on Friday. Cloudy icon thanks to some of the fog that we're seeing. 78 already in Dansville, 77 Penny on 73 over in Ithaca. We spin that map around, some other local temperatures for you. A 72 in Erin and a 72 as well down in Old Mountain. So extremely warm and also some touch of fog out there. Uh, this is your visibility map. 10 uh, miles represents clear visibility. Below that, you're seeing something uh, obstructing your view, whether it be haze or fog. And with two mile visibility, that's a, a foggier scenario in and around uh, the Big Flats Airport and even down into some of our other valley locations. Satellite and radar picture this morning, clean sweep for the most part. Outside of the fog, we're not seeing much in the way of cloud cover. So the thinking is that we'll see a fair deal of sunshine for a time today before the clouds kind of thicken up a bit. We see some thunderstorms anytime between about 3 and about 9. There's your 5 degree guarantee, by the way. 93 degrees. That's toasty. In fact, it's only 2 degrees shy of the record. On the big picture, that's the cold front not coming through today, but it's close enough that we could see a little ripple of energy, so to speak, that gives us that thunderstorm chance today. With the front coming through tomorrow, more widespread storms are expected. Future track today, this morning we're okay outside of the fog, just becoming hot and humid. There's your afternoon storm chance, and that storm chance this afternoon, some of them may turn severe, so this is an elevated risk, or the shaded area represents an elevated risk for severe weather. Not so much how widespread the storms will be, but just that storms that form in this area have that chance to become severe. Tonight, we'll get rid of some of those storms, and in fact, we'll be quite muggy again for tonight. But here comes that front for tomorrow, another potential severe weather day. Behind that, just turning much cooler as we look ahead towards the end of your week. So if you're not a fan of the heat and humidity, hang in there. We got till Friday when a high of 60 arrives. Keep it comfortably cool for the weekend, although we are warming it back up to more seasonable levels for next week.